Imagine a city where sustainability, transparency, and affordability are top priorities. This is the vision of tech billionaire Mark Lohr's sustainable city plan, Telosa. Although not intended to be a utopia, Telosa is a game-changing concept that aims to be a model for future cities worldwide. With a focus on the best and most sustainable solutions, Telosa is rooted in the reality of what is possible. As Lore puts it, Telosa is not just a project, it's a place people will be proud to call home. In this video, we are going to explore Telosa. Let's begin. Mark Lore's childhood dream of farming and his father's willingness to take risks with business ventures set the foundation for his entrepreneurial spirit. Now, as the former president of Walmart e-commerce and co-founder of Jet.com and Diapers.com, Lore is taking on his most audacious venture yet, Telosa, a utopian city in the middle of the desert. Lore envisions a reformed version of capitalism that prioritizes societal inclusion and equality with Telosa offering equal access to healthcare, education, and safe environments for families of all income levels. In addition, the city aims to be diverse, welcoming people of different races, genders, and sexual orientations, religions, and political affiliations. However, experts and studies warn the financial and entrepreneurial hurdles in the building of an eco-city. Nonetheless, Lore believes Telosa can be different and his why for the project is rooted in creating a better future for all. Telosa, a proposed city that aims to serve a higher purpose, takes its name from the ancient Greek word telos. The futuristic city designed by the renowned architectural firm Bjark Ingels Group features eco-friendly architecture spanning 150,000 acres powered by solar energy and equipped with autonomous electric cars and high-speed public transportation. One of its most striking features is the towering Equitism Tower. Despite its ambitious vision and impressive design, Telosa has faced scrutiny over its $400 billion price tag and the challenge of securing enough funding from key investors to even get the project started. In addition, the goal of welcoming 50,000 residents into the city by 2030 is also daunting. However, for co-owner of the Minnesota Timberwolves and Telosa visionary Mark War, the attempt is just as important as the end goal. As he puts it, I'm not pursuing this to make money. I'm doing this because of what it can mean for others and the future. He recognizes the possibility of failure, but hopes that any lessons learned will inspire others to take their own shot at creating something extraordinary. A Global Standard for Living Entrepreneur Mark Lohr is well aware of the potential backlash that could arise from attaching his name and values to Telosa, a proposed city from the ground up. However, he sees his role primarily as a placeholder, allowing the city's culture to be shaped by its residents themselves. Telosa's website emphasizes the importance of community and nature, aiming to set a global standard for living that will expand human potential. As Lore puts it, I don't want to be the ruler of the city. This is more of a public service. He envisions a city that is accessible to everyone, built on an innovative model that he calls equities. This model would allow Telosa citizens to build and sell their homes while the city retains ownership of the land beneath it. In Lore's ideal scenario, this would eventually lead to Telosa's desert land being valued at $1 trillion. The resulting funds will ensure that every family has access to healthcare, education, and a safe environment, regardless of their income. While some may view top-down economic models skeptically, Lore sees potential in the community-owned land model employed in Singapore, where the government owns 90% of the country's land and reinvests the proceeds. His goal is to provide a blueprint for other future cities, noting that many U.S. cities have become politicized and lost the trust of their citizens over time. Ultimately, Lore's vision for Telosa is one of which the community owns the city, with tax revenues directed towards infrastructure that benefits everyone. As he puts it, everyone would know exactly where their money is going. While the selection process for the first 50,000 citizens has yet to be determined, inclusivity is at the forefront of its priorities. With a focus on diversity in races, genders, sexual orientations, and religions, Telosa aims to break barriers and create a welcoming environment for all. However, 
Selecting the first group of citizens may be a challenging regarding public perception. How can they avoid discriminatory connotations while still setting qualifications for citizenship? One solution could be a venture capital fund created by lore, which would attract startups to relocate to Telosa. But what about other career options for the first citizens? According to lore, unconventionally kickstarting the city will be necessary. Still, with the help of the team of experts in architecture, history, research, economics, creativity, design, engineering, and climate science, the framework for the first settlers will come together. Come 2023, the equities model will allow people to shape the city's culture, accentuating its diversity through respect and an equal value system. As Lore puts it, a city's soul is not defined by its buildings and roads, but by its values and what it stands for. With this in mind, Telosa hopes to create a city that stands for something meaningful and unique. What challenges will Telosa face? Creating a new city from scratch is no small feat, and Telosa faces its share of obstacles. A key issue is water rights and availability, which are critical for sustaining desert communities. As Sharon B. McDowell, director of University of Arizona Water Resources Research Center, points out, groundwater needs to be replenished, or it will run out. Moreover, desalinating ocean water is a highly energy-intensive process. With more intensive droughts brought about by climate change and cities in the western U.S. expanding, water systems are becoming increasingly strained. But for war, starting from scratch provides an opportunity to build using new technology and techniques that would be more difficult to implement around existing infrastructure. So, while some experts such as McDowell and Natalie Bicknell Argarius, managing director at The Urbanist, argue that it would be wiser to invest to retrofitting existing cities, Lore remains committed to his vision. Of course, getting public and political support for the project is no small feat. However, if all goes according to plan, Telosa aims to have the first 50,000 residents moving in by the end of 2023. Lore words on the challenges, concerns of divisions, belief in inclusions. Lore said Telosa will be intentionally apolitical with its creation and potential launch. He believes that involving people from different political beliefs and being transparent with one vision is key to bringing people together. How do we bring people together? It's always in the show, he stated. Lore's approach to creating an inclusive culture is to look at future citizens from a psychological perspective, focusing on the nuances of what makes individuals tick rather than the whole society. Lore's experience with trust and transparency in the workplace has convinced him of its impact on culture. Something magical happens when people trust that you are living by a set of values. Lore wants Telosa to be a testing ground for highly researched theories that are impossible elsewhere. One of the biggest challenges he will face is providing a sufficient water system in the desert, which will require innovative technology to allow the city to live off of 80% less water per person. While others have attempted to build utopian cities, Lore believes his vision for Telosa differs. He wants the city to be based on the collective thinking of people in the world, and he is open to others' opinions. Lore also explains to step aside more if and when Telosa is a reality. But for now, he is excited to see his childhood dream of creating something out of nothing come closer to fruition. I don't have all the answers, he admits, but each day I'm learning. What do you think about Telosa, the game-changing utopian city of the future? Comment below and subscribe for more.